welcome to my reading of Cupcakes, one of the most messed up My Little Pony fanfictions out there. By Sergeant Sprinkles, world's greatest party clown, edited by Engine Pony. Warning, this fanfiction is incredibly gory and may ruin your appreciation of a certain My Little Pony character, as well as the titular baked goods. Read at your own risk! Bum, bum, bum! The air was warm. The sun was shining, and every pony in Ponyville was having a glorious day. The town square was bustling and crowded and busy, Ponies filled the streets. All the pony folk seemed to have somewhere specific to be. All except Rainbow Dash. Her place was in the sky. She tore freely through the air, speeding one way and the next, buzzing the treetops and racing the wind. The blue pegasus swooped over a schoolyard, much to the delight of the children, then climbed several hundred feet and dove, streaking downward as fast as she could. Seconds before hitting the ground, her wings flew open and she pulled up back into the clear blue. Rainbow felt alive. Suddenly, Dash remembered that she had somewhere to be. She was supposed to meet with Pinkie Pie in five minutes. Dash had gotten so caught up in her exercises that she'd nearly forgotten <laughs> that Pinkie had asked to meet her at Sugar Cube Corner at three. Pinkie hadn't said why or what they'd be doing, but Dash knew that with Pinkie it could be anything. Dash wasn't sure if she really wanted to go though. She was so engaged with her stunts that she thought about blowing Pinkie off to continue flying. But Dash's conscience got the better of her. She knew that it would hurt Pinkie's feelings. After all, Pinkie had said it was going to be something special. Just for the two of them. Dash considered it and thought, why not? What does she have to lose? Heck, it might be more pranking. Pinkie might have found a bunch more stuff to pull on folks, and they'd had so much fun the last time. Dash kicked into overdrive to make up for the lost time and sped to her appointment. When Dash walked into the store, she was immediately greeted by her host, who was bouncing in excitement. Yay, you're here! I've been waiting all day, said the jumping pony. Sorry, I'm a little late, Pinky. I was doing my afternoon exercises and lost track of time. Dash apologized. Pinky giggled <laughs> and responded in a gleefully reassuring tone. Well, that's okay. You're here now. What's a few more minutes? I've been so excited thinking about all the fun stuff we're gonna do. I haven't stopped bouncing since I woke up. I mean, I almost forgot to breathe. I'm so happy. Dash gave a slightly uncomfortable laugh. <laughs> she had always appreciated Pinkie Pie's friendly, outgoing way of life, but Pinkie's overabundant enthusiasm almost creeped her out. Dash maintained a polite expression, however. If Pinkie was this worked up, whatever she had planned must be good. So, you ready to get started, Rainbow Dash? I've got everything all ready, the pink pony said. Dash psyched herself up. You betcha, Pinky. So, what do you got planned? We gotta prank somebody? I got a couple of good ones I've been thinking about. Or maybe you've got some stunts you think I should try? Or perhaps... Making cupcakes! Pinky happily announced. Baking? Dash was disappointed. Pinky, you know I'm not good at baking. Remember last time? Oh, that's not a problem at all. I only need your help making them. I'll be doing most of the work, Pinky explained. Dash thought for about it for a second. Well, alright, I guess that's okay. What exactly do you need me to do? That's the spirit! Here you go! Pinky handed Dash a cupcake. Dash was puzzled. I thought I was helping you bake. You will be! I made this one just for you before you got here. So is this like taste testing or something? Sorta! Pinky said. 
Dash shrugged and popped the pastry in her mouth. She chewed a bit and swallowed. Not bad. Okay, now what? Dash asked. Now, Pinky informed her, you take a nap. Puzzled, Dash opened her mouth but felt instantly lightheaded. A wave of dizziness washed over her, the world spun, and seconds later she collapsed to the floor.